Hey everyone, and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm going to be drawing Princess Peach uh, from Mario Odyssey in her uh, kimono outfit. Uh, this one is a three-part series that I'm doing on my channel. This is part two. I have done Zelda before, I think it was two weeks ago now, I did Zelda. And now I'm doing Princess Peach. Uh, Zelda was my own design for the outfit and everything, uh, but Princess Peach here is actually from Mario Odyssey. Like, this is the outfit that inspired me to draw a uh, kimono for Zelda and Samus as well. I'm going to be uploading the Samus video in about two weeks from this video. That way, I have some time in between videos, so it's not like the same video every week. Uh, I'm not sure what I really want to do next week for uploading. I'm kind of between two videos, so I'm between doing an Inktober video, and I'm sure some people don't know what Inktober is, so I'm just going to explain it for people who don't know what Inktober is. Inktober is where every day for the month of October you do an ink drawing, and you can follow a list of prompts. So the prompts for Inktober, you can either make your own prompt list or you can follow like the official one and a bunch of other artists also do uh, their own prompts as well. So you can either find some a prompt that you really like or you can make your own. This year I decided that I was going to make my own list of what I wanted to draw and things that I wanted to sort of improve on or just start drawing in general. So I'm super excited to try Inktober. Uh, but yeah, so I'm between doing an Inktober drawing next week or doing a sort of, I don't want to say too much because I don't want to give it away too much, but it would basically be an acrylic painting a couple of them because I have a couple of canvases I want to paint on. So acrylic paintings of like Halloween decorations you can do at home with just acrylics and canvas and they're pretty much gonna be like punny Halloween themed is what I have. So I have that thought out but I don't know if I want to upload that next week or an Inktober piece. Uh, I will leave a poll in right about now if you want to vote for it if you want to see an inktober drawing next or if you want to see a halloween themed drawing or painting i guess so yeah so getting more into this painting though um the only thing that i changed about her design for this painting is the fact that you can't see it too clearly right now because it's not painted in but I gave her like a little Japanese coin purse, which they usually have in Japan, I, or at least like I see that in anime, where <laughs> then if there's like a yukata scene uh, or kimono or whatever, uh, they tend to have like little coin purses like the women do. So I decided that I wanted to draw her holding a coin purse um, with. The other two girls, I also drew them holding something, and I did Peach last, so I was sitting there and I was like, I don't really know what I want to draw her holding since she doesn't really have much in the game. Like, she has her suitcase in the game, but she doesn't have anything that she could really hold in her hand, so I was like, I just made up the fact that she'd be holding a coin purse because she would need coins or whatever. So that's why I went ahead and did that with the design, and I just also drew, like, the little cherries from one of the newer Mario Party games. It's just like a power-up where it, um, the character that picks it up and makes, like, a duplicate of that character. So I just put little cherries on it because I thought it would go well with the red from the fire flowers, and I didn't want to do another fire flowers on the coin purse because I, I just thought it would be too much so I, I looked up like a list of all the Mario 
uh, power ups so that I could still stay in the theme of like power ups but not fire flowers. So that's why I did that. Uh, also, since we're sort of still on the subject about Inktober, uh, I forgot to tell you that for like last week's video I said that I might be able to upload an Inktober haul video because I went out and bought like a whole bunch of Inktober supplies in order to prepare for it. But when I went to edit that video, it turns out that my audio got me messed up for that video. So, um, I tried to go through and fix that audio and it's just not it's not fixable and I decided that I didn't want to go through and do a voiceover for that video because what I did is I went through and opened the supplies and talked about the supplies while I was going through it and I just feel like it wouldn't feel as authentic when I've already opened the supplies and played around with them and used them and tried them out so I just scrapped that video idea, that's why it wasn't uploaded this Wednesday. It's not because I didn't forget about it, it's just because it just was not possible to save that audio file, which is super disappointing, but that's part of the whole YouTube thing and using like, I guess electronics and stuff, it's just there's room for error and it was just nothing I could do to save it. But I'm going to try to do a sketchbook tour at the end of Inktober where I'm just going through all of the ink drawings that I've done and talking about pretty much what I've learned and if I've improved and stuff and so I'm going to be doing the same sort of audio where it's not going to be a voiceover, it's going to be me talking through it, so at least now I have sort of an idea of how I want to go about that, since my desk is so small trying to do a layout of getting the mic so it's not in frame of the camera, and then being able to still hear me because the mic doesn't really pick me up that well if I'm not talking straight into it, like if it's a like a couple centimeters away it starts to drift off because it's just not that great of a mic, it's just my starter mic, so, but yeah, I've, I've learned how I want to set it up, so at least next time I do one of those videos where it's not a voiceover and I'm just, I'm talking while I'm doing it, I know what I want to do, and I know how to make sure that it hopefully doesn't mess up the audio as well, so, we'll see at the end of uh, October if that happens, if I even make it through Inktober because that's a big, big step to go through. <laughs> Doing an ink drawing every day, it's just, it's a lot. Even, like, I bought some dip inks, like for dip pens and whatever, and waiting for the ink to dry for that is just awful. Cause you just want to keep going because like with micron pens like what I'm using right now in this painting it's it dries pretty instantly so yeah it's definitely gonna be a struggle to try to do a drawing every day for Inktober but I think I'm ready for that I want to improve and I want to definitely improve in like some inking and stuff so we'll see how that goes um so yeah, for the rest of this piece, I didn't really have much to talk about this piece. Uh, it's just like the same painting style I used for the Zelda one. I'm trying out a new painting style so that when the watercolors dry, it's not as a harsh line around the watercolors. And I think I really got the hang of that with this. But yeah, I actually ended up struggling a little bit with the inking at the end here. Uh, I wasn't sure if I wanted to ink the fire flowers or not like you can see here I did the eyes of the fire flowers but I wasn't sure if I wanted to actually outline them or not so I actually <laughs> I sat on it for a while and asked like all of my friends I sent them like pictures and I was like 
should I ink it? Should I not ink it? I don't know. I was really on the fence about it, but I ended up deciding finally at the end that I was just going to go ahead and dark first up darken the leaves and then ink it. I figured the leaves were like a little bit too, they were too pale. So yeah. And here I'm just going through with a hair dryer to loosen up the tape. Uh, I heard that online that you can do that and it actually doesn't rip the paper and it actually worked really well. So I'm glad that that worked because I have a bunch of painters tape for this stuff. <laughs> and at the end here I'm just showing you my progress of this because I started watercolors this year and I did like this same peach painting like earlier this year in January and I just wanted to compare it, that to this new painting that I did like this month so I think my improvement has been huge honestly and I'm so glad that my watercolor skills have gotten so much better but yeah that's the end of this week's video so thanks so much for staying around and watching and don't forget to subscribe if you like what you saw and I'll see you guys next Sunday for next week's video thanks so much for watching bye